What's up guys? Just got Mark and Lewis here getting to work on my boy Sean's Evo. Just gonna do some work to it and a little bit of modifications. He should be happy with it. I'm gonna put his Instagram and YouTube up in the top and uh, be, be sure to give him a like and follow. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, show you the Evo out now. Alright, so this is just a quick little overview of what you know he's working with here. He's got a powder coated valve covers, intercooler piping, strut tower, um, FP Red, FP Red Turbo, ETS, built head, tubular manifold, uh, Spark Tech coil and plug conversion. Getting ready to do a Shep Stage 2 Trans. Also, a quick look inside the car. We got a full Evo 8 leather interior in here. Not the, the biggest Evo guy, but it might be GSR, MR. I mean, you guys will correct me in the comments, but either way. He's got the Grams light wheels on here. Super clean. Super clean. With the JDM rear. So that's just kind of a little quick look around the car. Um, we'll go ahead and show you a little more once we get deeper in it. All right, so what we're doing is we're gonna pull the intake off, intercooler pipe. Um, this car's already had a battery relocate done, so you don't have to pull the battery box or any of that stuff. Um, we're just gonna get that taken care of and we'll uh, pick back up with you in just a minute. Loose and everything like that. We're gonna separate the upper uh, charge pipe from the lower charge pipe over here and get this all out of the way. So we're just gonna disconnect the blow off out, throw that hose off to the side. That's loose. Get this hose down here out, separate it from that, pull it forward there, go out through the top. No point in disconnecting both pieces. And we're going to set this in the trunk so it don't get scratched up, this fresh powder coat. All right. So pretty much we got everything else cleared out the way. Um, now that we got all that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and uh, start working on some sensors here at the top of the tranny, get those unplugged, and then get to draining the tranny and the transfer case. So. We'll get back to you right there. All right, guys, so what, one of the tools we're using here today, it actually works very well. It's Harbor Freight. I know y'all knock it, whatever. The Do not, it's a 3 8 It works great. The battery lasts forever. It's not all 150 foot pounds or whatever it is they say. It puts out probably closer to 60, 70, but it's great, it's fast, works good. So we're just gonna pop off the strut tower real quick. We got the center bolts, outside bolts, knock those out. So y'all can see how that's done real quick. Right there. Yeah, I'm not real sure why it's got a one size different over here. I'm not sure if maybe he lost a, a nut or something like that. Had to get a get a replacement one. It was just a larger size. Get this out of here real quick. Come around to the other side. Knock it out real quick. Alright guys, just like that, and get this off, pop it out, strut tires off. Alright, next step we're going to pull off the slave cylinder and the bracket holding the slave cylinder line to it. The uh, 12 millimeter, you got two here and one back here, so we'll get that taken care of real quick. Alright, so the, since the cheater already got a... Uh the nuts loose here. Let's see if you could uh, go ahead and... So you got your fill plug here, drain plug on the bottom, you got a 17 and a 24. We're just going to crack these loose. This will be so it'll go ahead and let air in when you're draining it so it's not burping. Oh, this is all one take right here to see if you get it like in the pan too. <laughs> I got my gloves on so it should be okay. Yeah, it's gonna make a fucking mess. 
Oh, now you're cheating now. Oh. Ooh, that's 30. Oh man, that's a lot of metal. Let's go ahead and look at that. I'd say that's probably a good chunk of gear right there that he flattened off the nose on. There's third and fourth right there. Yeah, there's third and fourth gear. Uh, so for the viewers, this car was having a third gear grind for a little bit, continued to drive, um, developed a third gear kick out and also a fourth gear kick out. So we're replacing it with that uh, Busher Stage 2 Bushwhacker Transmission Xetti Twin. All right, so while Mark's working on getting the axles off, I'm gonna go ahead and get slide under here and uh, get this downpipe off. Hopefully I don't drop it on my face while I try to record this. All right, so last time uh, we left off taking off the downpipe, we got a little carried away and uh, we took everything off. The old tranny's off, new tranny's there. The Xetti twin disc is on already. We went and took care of painting the transfer case because, you know, you gotta give it that little in there. And um, yeah, we're about to go ahead and throw this on and I'll We'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Alright, so since we couldn't record it, we got the tranny on. Like, we needed pretty much both hands on it. So, we had no cameraman. So, we went ahead and uh, we got the tranny on there. The starter's on. Yeah, and we're gonna go ahead and work on putting the new one of these shafts in there so that we can get the transfer case, which is hanging back there, connect that with the trans, and then finally go ahead and get the axles. Zetti twin. All right, so while Mark's working on getting the axles off, I'm gonna go ahead and get slide under here and uh, get this downpipe off. Hopefully I don't drop it on my face while I try to record this. All right, so last time uh, we left off taking off the downpipe, we got a little carried away and uh, we took everything off. The old tranny's off, new tranny's there. The Daddy twin. All right, so while Mark's working on getting the axles off, I'm gonna go ahead and get slide under here and uh, get this downpipe off. Hopefully I don't drop it on my face while I try to record this. All right, so last time uh, we left off taking off the downpipe, we got a little carried away and uh, we took everything off. The old tranny's off, new tranny's there. The Xetti twin disc is on already. We went and took care of painting the transfer case, because you know, you gotta give it that little in there. And um, yeah, we're about to go ahead and throw this on and I'll We'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Alright, so since we couldn't record it, we got the tranny on. Like, we needed pretty much both hands on it. So, we had no cameraman. So, we went ahead and uh, we got the tranny on there. The starter's on. Yeah, and we're gonna go ahead and work on putting the new one of these shafts in there, so that we can build up the trans fluid. And two seconds later, we got that drip boy that we've been looking for. Yeah. So let me go ahead and cap this off. We're gonna lose our nonsense, and we are done here.
Now this is a trans. Where is the 17 we have? Right here. Right here. Get a little snug. All right. Nice snug there. We're good. Clean that off. Get a rag here to give a little wiping. All right. Trans is full. Axles are in. That went in like a breeze. Um, the other side is in. When you get the transfer case, you get ready to go back in. You got to pull the motor as far forward as you can. We removed the radiator shroud, uh, gave us plenty of space to come forward. Everything here. The car is done. Uh, <laughs> some plastic in there, just kind of keep, you know, a nice form. But, <clears throat> anyways, the car is done. Everything's working. The clutch is super, super, like, I don't know, soft. Not really soft, but it's not what you would expect for a twin disc. Um, definitely, uh, shout out to Exedi for making a pretty dope twin disc that it's not super loud and uh -huh, making all sorts of noises but yeah the car's done owner's got to go ahead and put his uh, headlights on and all that and front bumper the car came in that way so otherwise we would have had it on wiped down the engine bay kind of made it a little shiny for him any kind of handprints anything like that we, i went ahead and uh cleared off um yeah so Overall, pretty fun car to work on. Uh, wouldn't mind doing another one again. And yeah, so we'll catch you on the next one. And the next thing we'll be working on, which sneak peek, but we'll catch up with you guys later. See you.